Welcome everybody. This is a 2013 Bowman Draft 12X. Uh, we're going to open a full case here of uh, 2013 Bowman Draft. Um, let me go through the teams real quick. All 30 teams were sold. Uh, we have the Diamondbacks with Mike, uh, the Falcons with Anthony, Greg has the uh, Orioles, Mike has the Red Sox, Doug has the Cubs, Greg has the White Sox, John C.K. has the Reds, uh, Jason here is uh, taking the Indians, uh, Mike is uh, with the Rockies, Greg again has uh, the Tigers, Dave S. has the Marlins, Chuck has the Astros, John C.K. has the Royals, um, uh, Puggy Bank has the Angels, uh, Guitar Guitario 89 has the Dodgers, San K has the Brewers, Gary has the Twins, John C.K. is the Mets, Dave is the Yankees, San K uh, again has the Athletics, Greg has the Phillies, Michael Nelson has the uh, going for the Pirates, Dave S. has the Padres, Dennis has the, Gi uh, the Giants, Freddie has the Mariners, Sigari has the Cardinals, Greg has the Rays, Dave S. is the Rangers, Dennis is the Blue Jays, and Mike Anderson has the Nationals. That's hard to do after I just did a football. Almost every one I wanted to say the football name instead. So we just opened the case of the treasures. It was pretty pretty decent case. It was kind of kind of favored to one few teams really. I mean, it was about four teams did really good. It was definitely a case heavy on a few teams. But if uh, those names are all right, we'll open this. I'm gonna open the first couple and then let Jay open most of them. He likes opening Bowman uh, more. Unless you're bidding on stuff. Here's our 12 sealed boxes of Bowman. <laughs> that did work for you last time, Dave. <laughs> Let's just recreate that because you did so good that I'm just going to pretend that uh, we'll open those first. The last time, well, a couple times ago, Dave opened boxes himself and just hit some monster cards. And he picked the boxes 368. So I'm opening 368 and Jason can open the rest. They pick the boxes for me that have oh, what? the uh, monster Frazier cards in it. All right, I like the idea. Uh, which uh, which Chrome uh, Gene are you talking about? We're getting Bowman in two weeks. It yeah, comes out in two weeks. Bowman is the thirtieth. It's actually the same week as Five Star. Let's see. Am I forgetting anything? I read the teams. No, I think we're ready to go. Jason has the Indians, and you guys were here when he had uh, Buxton last. Uh... No. Good luck, everybody. Uh, yeah, regular Bowman is the 30th, Gene. You guys... Uh, uh, you guys that watch me all the time, would you rather have me just open all the packs at once like I do with a lot of the other ones and then go through them? It saves a little bit of time. Kind of a jumbo pack type thing. I gotta lower my cam a little bit. Sorry about that. I'll do that and then uh, go through them like that. It's a little easier if I stack them up first. Okay, thanks guys. If you're uh, if you're joining us for the first time, uh, we just did the National Treasures, and uh, this is our last break of the week. Uh, we usually do about three or four a week. Um, we have a bulk email list with about 400 people that we send out uh, that we first offer most of our breaks. And then uh, we do list some on eBay also. We do about three, four breaks a week. Hold on a sec. Someone's having video problems. 
Yeah, Keen Ellie had video problems on the uh, last one. Try and uh, refresh there, Red Sox, and um, I won't go through any cards until I hear you can see fine. I'm just stacking them up for now. Stop and go for you. Are a lot of people having freezing, or is it just his uh, computer for the most part? Mike, Dave, Gene, you guys, are you getting a pretty clear picture right now, like normal? Or Okay. Up on the list tonight. We're in front of Ryan Elm. Yeah, he'll fly by us. Make him sit there. <laughs> That's where Dennis must be. Unless he's watching not logged in. He was having computer problems for the longest time. Remember that? No, oh, Ryan or No, Dennis. Dennis. Uh, Red Sox, we had somebody uh, on the NT break that was having a lot of problems too with the video. Yeah, we had somebody else that was the same thing. Uh, he could hear, but he couldn't see the entire time. We'll upload the video afterwards. Yeah, we will YouTube it afterwards, but uh, give it a give it a refresh try. I think he's refresh. I don't see your super fractor of uh, a brazier. I wonder if that's been hit. No, I think it has. Yeah. Right. I'll take a red refractor. I'll take any autograph based autograph. All right, guys, I'm going to wait a second and see if uh, Red Sox can get a decent pitcher going. If you guys don't mind. Not sure how many breaks we're going to have next week. The week after will be extremely busy. I'll have a few next week, but I don't have anything scheduled as of yet. Uh, Red Sox Dynasty, are you uh, in the room? Can you see okay? Or I got them all ready, ready to go for these guys. I want to see if uh, you're good to go. Okay. All right, let's go through box number one then, guys. Wow, we got a redemption that quick. Wow. Holy cow. We got a redemption in the first box, it appears. Like normal on these, I'll I'll go through pretty fast on the chrome and base. And I'll read all the inserts in that. Got a refractor of Chance Cisco. Can't remember who hit the pirates. Who was that? It's Michael Nelson. I'm pretty sure Mike will be watching and uh, not plugged in. So you got a shot at the pirates with that first one. And uh, Colorado. Colorado is Michael Hurley, who always buys Colorado. He's got a shot, too. Just all base. Got a breakouts here of uh, Micah Johnson for the White Sox. Boy, this redemption's coming up quick. Maybe it'll say Super Fractor Meadows. Good pray. Okay. There's a Meadows right in front of it. <laughs> There's a Meadows in front of the Redemption. So we're going to use Austin Meadows to block the Redemption. Usually the Redemptions are Meadows and Gray. There's a few others, though. There's a few others, so it doesn't have to be those two. But good luck. I don't know who's dropping something. I don't know what that link is, but please don't drop links in if you're just coming into the room. Oh, it's Mike. Okay. Oh, you're here. No, the link wasn't you. Well, good luck. Bowman Chrome Prospect. Autograph Refractor. Jonathan Gray. Sorry, Mike. That uh, 
That was to a, another Mike, Michael Hurley, Jonathan Gray, Autograph Refractor. Nice card. Nice card. We still got plenty of time to hit you in Meadows, but good start. Should I like, move this over to the side a little bit? You can kind of bump into it. Okay. I don't know what that link is, but they just dropped a link in the left. Can you just get rid of it? I'll keep going. I thought I was going to hit a Monster Meadows in the third pack. Gray is really strong, though. That's a great card for uh, Michael Hurley, who's been buying a lot of breaks. Dustin Peterson. Gray is really strong now. It's amazing how good he's going. And he is live, so uh, he'll be able to get that redeemed quickly. I had a strong feeling that was going to be Meadows. Oh, we got a gold. It's not going to be an auto, but we got a gold here. Interesting first box. Good auto and hopefully a good parallel here. The gold, oh, it's backwards. Tyler Skaggs for the Arizona Diamondbacks. We hit Tyler Skaggs so regularly. He might turn out to be a pretty good pitcher, though. That's uh, Mike Anderson. Nice hit there, Mike. Tyler Skaggs, number two of 50. We got a gold and a, uh, and a refractor parallel auto already. Give you the hits to put them somewhere so I'm not bumping on them. Got a refractor here, Jonathan Gray. Pretty shocking to me how fast Jonathan Gray has gone up. I used to sell that exact card for thirty-five bucks, and he's not the refractor. Yeah, he was like forty when I used to sell him. The regular was thirty, and there was forty, and I was getting higher than the other people on eBay. He's gone up past that. Keen Wong for the race. especially the live ones, and he'll be able to re get that redeemed right away. He had a too low in last week's break for Museum, so he's been doing pretty well in the Rockies breaks. Has Waldo Arcia refractor? Oh, that's your uh, Rockies guy that has them, huh? Yeah. He's going to be happy. <laughs> good card. Rockies been hot. Got a, a mini here, Nick Castellanos for Detroit. It's less suspenseful when the autograph's gone. Got a refractor of Shelby Miller. For the card spot, DJ Peterson Blue, nice card there for the Maryland Mariners parallel. Andrew Landecker, Silver Ice for the Pirates. Carlos Salazar Refractor for the Braves. Got a mini of Manny Machado for Baltimore. Paulino Orange out of 250 for Cleveland. I don't know, Gene, what that grew. What do you think Gray Refractor goes for now? About 100 bucks? Well over 100 bucks, I would imagine. Yeah, I think it's probably a little bit over 100 right now, Gene. That first auto we hit. He's gone up a lot, let's put it that way. Just Hart Refractor for the Orioles. At least, especially live. 
I don't maybe the redemption isn't quite that high, but you can get it redeemed right away because he's live. Got an Andrew Jones Ricky reprint. Uh, if you haven't broke with us before, we send out all the cards unless uh, we have some other agreement. All base and chromes go out. We've got Ivan Wilson refractor for the Mets. McGuire Meadows dual insert for the Pirates. And that is box one. So we had a gold Skaggs and a gray refractor auto. We'll start into box two. Oh, you have the purple out of ten of gray right now. We have a lot of cards. Uh, we have a lot of cards being graded right now too. What's the uh, what's the purple of uh, of gray? Uh, yeah, what's that go for on graded? It's got to be pretty big. Oh yeah, for sure. That's got to be up there. Got a jersey card in this box. Bonus hit. And I'd love to get one of those sideways autos out of 10. We've never hit one. We've opened so much of this stuff, we've never hit one of those draft night autos out of 10. Tonight could be the night. Yeah. And Clint Frazier could be the guy. Draft night Clint Frazier, he's in it. Oh, yeah. That purple gray would be a strong one. Oh, a thousand for a nine point five. Well, good luck. I hope you hit it. Is that something you bought, or uh, is it something you hit in one of the breaks? Yeah, gray has really gone up a lot. It's pretty surprising when you look up gray's uh, value. Gray, Frazier, and Meadows are the uh, the three biggest hits. That's why, I mean, the Colorado spot... Uh, Remember, Freddie, last time when we did this auction, I talked you into the Colorado spot and you didn't hit anything. Freddie, I told you the Colorado was pretty decent value. That was about three weeks ago. Unfortunately, I didn't back that up by hitting you a gray in that time, but. That was the time, Freddie, you took the Pirates and I said, take the Rockies too. That way, when we get a redemption, you know you got a huge chance of hitting it. Of course, we didn't get any redemptions. Okay, box two. Refractor of Stifler. Nelson Molina, orange for the Twins. Refractor Jose Fernandez rookie parallel for the uh, Marlins. Our last 12 box case, we got two really nice Jose Fernandez parallels. Chofer goes really good right now. Yeah, I know you're still waiting. We got a breakout of Brandon Drury. 
We didn't show Freddy what we got out of the Packer spot, did we? I don't think I want to show you, Freddy, because I don't want you to not like me. We got a Justin Hunter, Justin Berlander rookie reprint. I'm going to start texting you a day, or uh, Freddy, with the teams left over and over. Tom Wendell Refractor. Those, uh, I don't know what that goes for, but people really prefer in this stuff the actual chrome autos than those paper. They go good, but... Paper autos were in retail products. They weren't in the hobby? Bowman. Well, you have just the dual draft fees. On. Yeah, that's what we're talking about, the dual of uh, Frazier and um, Austin Meadows. You'd be up for seeing one of those, wouldn't you? Oh, here's our auto. We got a base auto. Auto number two. Base auto. San Diego Padres, Dustin Peterson, DJ's brother. So Dustin Peterson's base auto for the second one. We got a uh, mini of uh, Billy Hamilton. <laughs> Freddie wants you to show him the Packer card either way. He's a good sport. Casey Mesner for the Mets refractor. This box if you want. Uh, blue of Brian Navarito. Is that a pterodactyl in the house? Got a silver ice of Gabe Spire for the Red Sox spot. Nathan Carnes Refractor for the Nationals. Let's see. We need more color parallels, but I could be missing it. Well, we got a second auto in this box. I don't think I've ever seen that in these. Have you guys ever seen two base autos in one of these boxes? That's weird. All right, well, we got a second auto. I don't think I've ever seen that. I've opened a ton of this. And it is St. Louis Cardinals, Oscar Mercado. Really? I've never seen two base autos in the same box. Have you ever seen that? This is the one. Uh, Oscar Mercado mm -hmm. for the Cardinals. I probably opened, I opened four, eight, probably opened about ten cases. I had not seen two base in the same box. Uh, box. I know in Bowman Chrome that you get that all the time. You saw a bunch like that, huh, Mike? In Bowman Chrome, they say that you can get multiple ones, and they have not as good autos, so. But I had not seen that. Tim Anderson Refractor. So a little bonus auto there for Sigari, the Cardinals. There's a Cardinals dual insert. Got a breakout. It's a good breakout. It's, uh, number 14 of 99 of Mondesi. One of the best ones in this set. Number to 99 parallel for the Royals. And we got a blue parallel, number to 250. Mini Garrett Cole for Pittsburgh Pirates. It's a nice parallel card there, the Pirates. Did you do the jersey too? I think it's right. Uh, it's 
right in there. Had a jersey in this box too. I think it was in the first pack that I opened I saw a jersey in there. Got a uh, Meadows McGuire insert. Yeah, I've definitely seen the um, the Affleck as an extra one. In fact, it is always an extra. If you get an Affleck, I think you always get another auto. And the same way with uh, what the uh, the Under other Armour. the Under Armour, Jack Peterson refractor. It's a good prospect for the Dodgers. Got a refractor here of Ian Clarkin for the Yankees. And we got the jersey coming up here. Blocked by a Clint Fraser base card. And that is CJ Cron for the Angels. It's a good prospect too for the uh, Los Angeles Angels in his USA uniform. Oh, is it? Yeah, it's the yeah, the futures are where they have the USA, okay. It's numbered. The last time we got one of these, remember, it was a one of one. Yeah. We got one of one of these about a month ago. That is numbered to 99 of CJ Cron, number 76 of 99. And that is box number two. Freddie, there's the uh, Lacey. Hats off. And third box that I'm going to open that Dave picked out for me. Mike says Wainwright tossed a gem tonight. And uh, QA shutout. We haven't had two bad boxes so far. <laughs> not a big fan of on card. Freddy says he wouldn't want that. He's not a fan of on card autos. <laughs> well, we definitely got lucky to get that. Not sure how the Packers made it all the way through. It wasn't for a lack of trying to sell them. The Packers have been a hard team for me to sell in the Treasures. Now, most nights we've got it down to about three or four teams, you know, hour beforehand. Tonight we were at 10, so they were a little slower. <laughs> got a blue color in here yeah NT is slowing a little down um, they they always do after a little bit but uh, the um, they'll probably slow a little bit more down too when five star comes out Dave and some people like NT a lot more than uh, five star but uh, but it still slows down when five star comes out because they're direct competition Dougie uh, we've opened two boxes um, nothing real special for the Cubs. We had a Jonathan Gray refractor auto, and um, and then the second Oscar Mercado and uh, Dustin Peterson. Oscar Oscar Mercado and Dustin Peterson. So we've actually had three autos in the first two boxes, and we had a jersey card for the Angels, and a uh, refractor card, gold refractor of Skaggs. No, that's okay, uh, Freddie. I uh, always appreciate uh, all the teams you and Dave and. Others buy. I feel bad because I do think, uh, I don't know for sure, but I know you would have definitely considered the Packers. Freddie said he feels bad because he wasn't here to buy some teams for us. We got awfully lucky, Freddie. We did, it was definitely the least amount, it's the first time in any football in a long time where we, uh, we had a significant amount of teams that we didn't sell. And that's going to happen once in a while. You know, we still open it. But uh, we got very lucky with it with the Packers. So what are you going to do? 
<laughs> okay. All right, well, let's go with this uh, third box here. Maybe we can get two autographs again. The Packers haven't really done very well in the last two. No, the Packers had been slow up till that one. We got a Cole Stewart refractor. <laughs> Is there another case of slurries around somewhere? Uh, yeah, I have eight of them in the garage, but uh, there's a bunch sitting on in that other room. I, I dumped the thing out, so there's at least a. I'll get them because this is my last box. Then you're open. All right, I got to go on a strong note. We got a Grant Green Silver Ice. Uh, Braden Shipley, Refractor for Arizona. Got a mini of Jed Gurko for the Padres. Just signed a long-term deal. Blake Taylor, Refractor. Thinking I'm gonna pick it up and uh, have the auto right there. Let's hit a good auto in this box. Rookie reprint of uh, Rosito for the Yankees. Katow refractor for the Yankees. Got an orange paper, Brian Hudson for the Yankees, or excuse me, the Red Sox. Not a team most people mix up. Refractor of Jake Sweeney for the Phillies. Got a blue coming up. I'm hoping that's the auto. That would be nice. Got a breakouts. Hey, Dennis, how you doing? CJ Edwards. Oh, there's the auto. It's a refractor auto. Refractor Pero, our second one. Good, Dennis. How you been doing? It's a nice one, too. Hunter Harvey for the Baltimore Orioles. Strong auto there. Can't remember who has Baltimore. That is Greg. Congrats, Greg. Hit, hit a uh, Hunter Harvey auto. Like a pretty nice one. Uh, Steven Gonzalez for the Twins Refractor. We had Harvey, when we opened our personal case when this first came out, we had Harvey like crazy. He was about the most common kind, but we haven't hit him that much lately. Alright, we got a blue parallel here. It's probably not an auto since I just hit it, but... Oh, we've hit him a lot too. Jan Hernandez. For the Phillies. I've hit his parallel a couple times lately. Number 92 of 99. For Hernandez for the Phillies. Haven't hit a blue or a black wave pack yet. One of the good things about opening hobby is you get those wave packs more often.
Yeah, Dennis, we did NT uh, right before this. We uh, we hit some big cards. Um, you want me to wait for? I uh, can't remember what teams you had, Dennis. Lions, Pats, or Chiefs? Chiefs weren't bad. The, they had an RPA of Eric Fisher. Yeah, the Chiefs weren't bad at all. The Lions and the Pats, I don't think were real strong for you. We'll uh, we'll pull out those uh, three. Did the Lions or Pats get anything? The Lions went hitless. I think the Pats went hitless too. Yeah, I think your first two actually went hitless, Dennis. Um, but we'll make sure. I know the Chiefs had a couple cards. We're gonna give some cards away too. So. Yeah, we're gonna. We had about two or three, at least two cards that we were gonna give away for hitless teams at the end too. So, uh, so you may want to watch that later too. We got a Robert Kaminsky refractor. The Chiefs had an RPA though of Eric Fisher numbered. 49 or 50. The first pick in the draft. I don't know if he's going for much, but he was the first pick. Had a good year, but linemen don't go up very fast. Marcelo Zuna Blue. Not unless you're featured in a Disney movie. <laughs> yeah. Michael Orr. I, d I did sell some Fisher cards pretty good earlier in the year, though, but I have no idea what he goes for these days. Nick Franklin Refractor. We did hit some big cards in the case, though, Dennis. We hit a, a monster Packer card, and the, uh, the the Vikings did fantastic. Vikings are a great spot. Uh, Aaron Sanchez Mini. We had an RPA of uh, CPAT. And we had a dual CPAT, Justin Hunter, and a Hall of Fame auto of Prime Jersey Hall of Fame auto of Randall McDaniel for the Vikings. And the Steelers did fantastic too. We had a beautiful Jerome Bettis auto. And they had a book card of Landry Jones. Is that it? Yep, that was box three. That one just had the blue. Of Hernandez and the auto was Hunter Harvey. All right, guys. Well, it was good. Uh, I'm gonna uh, let Jay open the last nine. Oh, you may want to uh, cut the video in half too after six. That'll just be a little while. Dennis, we've been wondering where you're at, man. We haven't seen you for a while. Where's those cards at? Uh, they're over there. Here you go, Dennis. This is one of the highlight cards from NT. Get the Eddie Lacy hats off out of six in the Packers spot. You should tell Dennis what you hit in Bowman break. Yeah, we did uh, Bowman last week, Dennis. We did a jumbo case of Bowman one, and I bought the, uh, the twin spot. And I hit uh, two Buxton autos, one base, one uh, refractor. So I was pretty excited about that. I'm sure these guys are getting tired of hearing me talk about it, though. <laughs> but I'm uh, big on Byron Buxton right now. My Christmas is coming up in less than two weeks. We've got this house is going to be overloaded with cases of 2014 Bowman. What were you saying, Ryan? We have over ten thousand dollars worth of Bowman coming. Over ten k worth of Bowman coming. It's going to be a lot of work. Yeah, it's going to be crazy. Be a lot of personal breaks. A lot of group breaks of Bowman.
No, I don't think uh, I don't think that's the same person, Dave. Hope you guys that break with us regularly realize that we would never do anything like that to any of you guys. packs for me to open and then we'll go through box number four of our hobby case well yeah I'm not saying it's the, the same deal but All right, guys, here we go. Box number four. Refractor of Justin Maffey for the Pirates. I'm going to show all the chromes in the paper. Just the highlight cards. Well, here comes the autograph. It's a base autograph. This will be the autograph of box number four. Marco Gonzalez, base autograph for the St. Louis Cardinals. So they're on the board quickly with two autographs, both base. Got a refractor of Gaithier Baumgartner for the New York Mets. Refractor of Kyle Gibson for the Twins. Breakouts insert of Kevin Palwecki for the uh, New York Mets. No, not yet. Got a printing plate coming up, though. for the Phillies and it's a good one too Jesse Biddle printing plate for the Phillies which I believe was Greg so congrats to the fillers, Phillies owner there nice card of a promising young pitching prospect for the Phillies refractor of Corey Dickerson for the Rockies. Connor Oliver, refractor for the Braves. Breakouts insert of John or Josh Hader for the Astros. Got a silver ice of Jake Stone for the Cardinals. William White, refractor for the Miami Marlins.
Dual draftees insert of the Yankees. Jaggy Yellow and Judge. Refractor of Adrian Castano for the Tigers. Blue paper of Taiwan Walker out of 500 for the Mariners. Rookie reprint of Justin Verlander for the Detroit Tigers. Refractor of Jorge Perez for the Astros. Orange paper of Zach Wheeler for the New York Mets out of 250. Dual draftees insert of Ian Clarkin and Eric Jagiello for the Yankees. All right, that'll end box number four. Grab a couple sleeves here so I can get these uh, hits out of box four secure. Uh, we got a uh, base autograph of Marco Gonzalez for the Cardinals and a Jesse Biddle plate were the highlights of uh, box number four. So far we have got one extra autograph and one extra hit. The extra autograph was uh, Oscar Mercado, base auto for the Cardinals. And we did hit a uh, Futures Game Relic of C.J. Cron for the Angels. Brian mentioned it or not, but if you're watching the break video here uh, uh, at a later time on YouTube, uh, we will split the break up into two, uh, two separate videos. I'll stop the video and start a new one after about halfway through, and then uh, we'll do a recap at the end of the second video of all the uh, highlight hit cards, anything special that we hit in the case. And then if you were with us for the NT break that was uh, before this, uh, we do have a couple of uh, cards to random for hitless teams. We'll upload that video as well. Do you want to figure out who the hitless teams were real quick so we have that ready to go after we're done? Yeah, I can do that. Almost done You know that Lacey is a lot less than I thought it was, and the Watt was a lot more than I thought it was. I mean, see. Really? That Lacey will only be about three hundred bucks. Out of six? Yeah, there was one that went for three forty that had a much nicer patch. 
Really? Yeah. I thought for sure that'd be a four to five hundred dollar autograph. Yeah, maybe card. that person didn't do very well on it too, but the watt looks like pretty strong too. What's that? Hundred fifty. Oh, that's a nice card. No wave packs yet, but I'm sure we'll get at least one or two. Might have hit a base card, I don't remember. James were hit list, but they were ours. We've got one, Dolphins got a card, and so we got a card. Giants did not get Just a couple more packs to open, then we'll get into. Uh, Box number five. I don't think you got a card in the Raiders, did you, Dave? Boy, the Steelers got all kinds. All right, box five. Good luck. Refractor of DJ Peterson for the Seattle Mariners. Breakouts insert of Gabriel Encinas for the Yankees. Boy, that patch on that was awesome. Silver Ice of Brian Hudson for the Red Sox. Refractor of Alex Wood for the Braves. Before. We usually we've doubled up some refractor Austin Kabitza for the Detroit Tigers. Here's our autograph. It's a base autograph for the Texas Rangers, Travis Demerit. Refractor of Jacob Nottingham for the Astros. Nice refractor of Xander Bogarts for the Red Sox. Breakouts insert of Andrew Tolls for the Rays. Did you look him up? Yeah, he's about five, six, seven bucks. All right. There. I thought he'd be more, to tell you the truth. Saturday is pretty popular. But... I mean, he's more popular as a Colt. Well, Packers are. Will you turn to MLB Network? 
refractor of Kevin Gossman for the Orioles. God, they didn't get a 49er. Really? Not a single 49er? A billion 49ers. Wow. They crushed it the, the first time. Too bad for Gary. Big fish, man. Didn't get a seal. Refractor of Marcelo Zuna for the Marlins. We didn't get a red skin either. Yeah, it was definitely uh, same team heavy. Kevin Ziemek, uh blue paper out of 500 for the Tigers. I think we have a black refractor. We do have a black refractor towards the end of this pack. That should be numbered out of 35. We got a rookie reprint of Robinson Cano for the New York Yankees. Surprised we haven't got a weight pack yet either. Got a refractor of Jorge Soler for the Chicago Cubs. Got a mini of Francisco Lindor for the Indians. Getting close to the black here. Dual draftees insert of Robert Kaminsky and Marco Gonzalez for the Cardinals. Oops. And we will use the DJ Peterson base card to block the black refractor. Good luck. Andrew Knapp, catching prospect for the Phillies. Numbered 6 of 35 is the black. There's the serial number on it 6 of 35. And that'll be it for box five. All right, so we'll do box number six. I will stop the recording after this box and start a new one for the second half of the case. We can do that uh, pretty regularly. It helps us uh, get the videos uploaded onto YouTube faster for people that couldn't join us for the live break. It'll be a momentary pause though. Naka's looking very good.
Well, he's got that split finger pitch that's uh, absolutely devastating. Um, nothing really comes to mind on uh, Braves so far. What was that jersey? What team was the jersey for? The jersey was the uh, CJ Cron for the Angels. Yeah. Yeah, Michael Pineda looks really good for the Yankees, too. They're finally getting the pitcher that they traded for. He's been uh, pretty lights out so far. How many boxes, man? This is box number six right here. Okay. Still plenty of time to go. I did see we had a green refractor in this uh, this box. Was not autographed, but I did see the player. Pretty decent parallel card. Guy's pitching well. Um, we hit a Andrew Knapp black refractor out of 35 for the Phillies. We hit. Uh, Let's see, a printing plate of Jesse Biddle, also for the Phillies. Travis Demerit, base autograph. No color autos yet, though. Hit a gold refractor of Tyler Skaggs. Base auto of Oscar Mercado. Base auto of uh, Dustin Peterson for the Padres. And then uh, the highlight card of the of the case so far has been the Jonathan Gray refractor autograph. Yeah, two refractor autos, Harvey and Gray. Oh yeah, we did get a refractor autograph of uh, Hunter Harvey for the Orioles. But uh, we did have an extra base auto so far and a uh, futures game relic. No low number autos yet. All right, so let's get into box number six here. Good luck, everybody. Refractor card of Brian Navarito for the Twins. Well, you Darvish uh, is making a case to be a pretty strong uh, starting pitcher in Major League Baseball. Evan Gaddis for the Braves. Dice K definitely did not, though. Uh, dual draft ease insert of Trey Ball and John Denny for the Red Sox. Base autograph for the Pirates, Reese McGuire. Base autograph. For the Pirates spot. Kind of crept up on us there. Silver Ice of Brennan Middleton for the Nationals. Yeah, that's nice. Reese McGuire. Reese has a nice signature. Iwakuma is very good also. I like him a lot too. I think in the, the first year a day Nomo was out, I sold probably about $5,000 worth of his cards to one person. Wow, were they overseas? Yeah, he, he was a guy in San Francisco who uh, went to went to Japan once a Thomas month. Thomas Malone, refractor for the Rays. Wow, that's absurd. I've never had anybody as hot as a Dan Nomo. Never. I used to go around the card shows and just buy every single one. I Tony Singrani Refractor for the Reds. Yeah, I would be buying them too if someone was paying that much for them. Tons of base. That was before the days with the autographs and relics and stuff. Can you imagine what it would have been like? This Christian Yelich, Future of the Franchise Mini. For the Marlins. Should be on the far left here. Oh, I, I emptied some of it, I think. Oh, wait, no, I grabbed it. That's what it was. 
green refractor of sunny gray out of 75 for the A's. 59 of 75. Justin Williams, orange paper out of 250 for the Diamondbacks. It's a nice sunny gray. Yeah, he's pitching well. And the A's know how to find those starting pitchers. That yeah, he's a good place for a sunny gray to pitch. Refractor of Mark Montgomery for the Yankees. Breakouts insert for, of uh, Adam Brett Walker for the Minnesota Twins. Garrett Cole, rookie reprint for the Pirates. Ty Hensley, refractor for the Yankees. Hawk Ju Lee, I believe is who you're talking about for the Rays. He was uh, involved in the Matt Garza trade when the Cubs acquired Matt Garza along with uh, hey, he sells pretty good, doesn't he? Actually. Chris Archer was another player that the Cubs sent over who's just starting to do well for Tampa. Kevin Ziomik, refractor for the Tigers. Chris Archer's pitching really well, really well for Tampa Bay. And then in return, the Cubs... Uh, Parlayed that uh, Matt Garza into a lot of good prospects, yeah, including C.J. Edwards and um, Mike oh. Old from Texas. So uh, Mr. Garza has returned some nice prospect players for uh, a couple different franchises then. Tampa's are just now starting to make an impact. The Cubs have a uh, few years before the, those guys start to contribute. I mean, Olt's playing now, but I think he's just keeping that, that spot warm for Chris Bryant. Mark Montgomery, blue paper for the Yankees. Refractor of Clint Frazier for the Indians. Yeah, Springer is definitely UConn. I'm hoping so. I'm hoping so, Red Sox. And then uh, just base for the rest of uh, box number six. The Colorados are tough, but I'm surprised we haven't hit a wave pack yet. Those are a little more common. So if you guys are watching, go ahead and uh, scoot over to the second video. We'll show the remaining six boxes of our hobby case.